Hello and welcome to another of my walking films. Today I am going from Heald Green uh, in the lockdown series that I'm trying to do basically some great walks in my local area. So uh, this is going to be quite new for me uh, starting at this end but I'm really looking forward to showing you around but I say at the same time also adhering to social distancing etc I'm trying to make sure where we go you know if we do meet people we've got the room to be safe. So I hope today to do about a three hour walk, uh, maybe about 10 or 11 kilometres. So we've just got the sign here next to the North General Store and there's just a path going off down there. So let's go. So basically we're heading towards what's known as Nixon's Farm. Uh, it's where there's the, basically the massive greenhouses. So we're heading straight in that direction. It should be for about 15 minutes. Now I know sometimes the path can be a bit small here, but as I say, there's plenty of basically bits in the bush that you can back into, and to be honest, it's very quiet as well. But after just only about 12, 13 minutes and a kilometre, we're just here is what's known as a Nixon's Farm locally. So we're just going to walk straight through for another five minutes. So just when you get here, just go left. Okay, we just come to this spot here, so basically where the old concrete stops. We're just going to walk straight ahead down here. Impressive, isn't it? So anyway, so we just come to two gates. We just come to the one here, and we're just going to follow along the left here. So anyway, we just get to these gates here. So they've been very good, uh, marking out kind of like a little pavement for you to walk through the farm. But we're just going to go straight through here. We just get to this point, so you can either just go through that gate there, take a right, you'll be on the A555, and you can sort of do a loop round on the road, or as I say, what we're going to do is pop up and over the bridge. There's actually quite a good view from uh, up here. Just looking out there over to Peak District, then as I say, over into the Pennines. Super. So just down here, and then what we're going to do, there's a gate just there, but then we're going to double back along the fence line, and go towards Style Golf Club. So a little gate in the corner here and literally what we're going to do is basically double back and follow this fence line into the golf club. So it's been about 35 minutes and just around about 2k and it's great. Just to forewarn you by the way this can get quite mucky so just bear that in mind. Now it's a lovely little heathland this uh, by the way so that corner where we did the 180 with the gate basically you can walk straight ahead and you can actually do a little loop around here. It's absolutely wonderful. Thank goodness it wasn't built on. Only after a couple of minutes we get to the style. That's a bit ropey. <laughs> and basically we're onto the golf course. As you can see, this is really clear. So as I say, we just, literally only 50 meters or so, we just come to this tree, we're just gonna to go to the left of it, and then we're gonna pick up a uh, path back to uh, near the clubhouse. So basically, we're just gonna head where those people are in the uh, middle of the shot there. So about another five minutes and we'll be near the clubhouse. Okay, so I'm being respectful and we're, we should. It's very kind the golf club are letting us through. It is, it is very nice. Um, so we're just going to follow this, as I say, for about five minutes. Don't go down the 18th hole. Okay, I forgot kind of, it's not a clubhouse, it's sort of like a, it's a building. Okay, so don't go down there, keep going down here. So we've just come from down there, and there it is, yeah, it's basically where they store all the tractors, etc. So we just come along here. We just come to this road and then what we're going to do, there's a hole over here and we're basically going to respectfully walk along the side of hole 2 uh, for about 400 metres. So as you can see, if you're just worried, it is legit this, so it is actually a footpath. Okay, just before the green, we come to this sign here and what we're going to do is head literally straight over here. There are arrows on the trees and very respectfully as I say the golf club have cut this wonderful path so let's follow that for about again about seven or eight minutes still got the arrows there 
look at this. They really do look after it. As I say, golf clubs sometimes can get much maligned. I'll certainly say this, I reckon in this area, if this golf club wasn't here, then this would all be houses. So, yeah, I'm pretty grateful for it, actually. One last arrow leads us to the corner here. I think the moral here basically is everyone be respectful of each other and of that amazing space and you know we can all enjoy it so uh, that was absolutely terrific now we are just coming out onto station road in style Shutlands low in the background there and we will take a right just for about five minutes just past style station an hour and ten and about 4k so as I say at this point you can take a right and go back to Hill Green just follow um, Holling Lane just literally keep going and it'll be about two kilometers or so two and a half um, but what we're gonna do we're at the War Memorial is take a left and we are going to be walking towards the prison and at the moment we're up to about 4k about an hour and ten so we're going to carry down here for about 10 minutes to the top of Worm Hill. A little bit of road walking, but it's hardly unpleasant, is it? <laughs> We're just by um, the prison, by the way, but just got to point this out. As I say, that restaurant called The Clink is meant to be really, really good. And as I say, there's walk-ins as well. So, um, well worth the thought, because um, my next door neighbor, he's done 10 years inside. You know, and it's good someone gave him a second chance, so you know what I'm saying. He is one of the rummest son of a guns, though, you'll love me. <laughs> so after 10 minutes, we just come to the top of Worm Hill, and we're just going to cross over here uh, for about another seven or eight minutes. Man, looks like even the cows have been furloughed today. After a few minutes, we just come to these steps here. Right, so after about five kilometers, we just come here and we are gonna take a right down the left-hand path there and go and find some beautiful bluebells. So we're going into Starwoods. It is open here, people are walking in. So uh, that's a bit of a relief as well, actually. So basically, if you do go up the path on the right, um, it will basically get you back to the car park of Style Country Park, uh, but we're going to go left. Absolutely stunning. Amazing, isn't it? Whole bank of them, basically, as soon as you come into the park. Wow. As I say, it's strange, but they've. I always look forward to the bluebells coming out, but it definitely means something different this year. And I hope you're all enjoying these shots that I can get of them. So just keep following this path, by the way, you can't go wrong. And as I say, we should be at the mill in about 10 minutes. I do refer to style, by the way, as my own back garden, but it is really. I absolutely adore it. Wow, and there's a the river bowling. Just so still today. What was that for a noise at the end there from that bird? <laughs> I 
I'm not joking, I'd actually forgotten where I was meant to be going back to. <laughs> but, you'll agree, it's stunning. So after two hours and about five and a half k, we just come to the main mill and we're just going to follow the main road out to the visitor's centre. So here's the visitor's centre, as I say that other path I was pointing out does actually end up in the car park which is just behind here. But what we're going to do is just cut straight down here, straight across to Style Village. Just like a postcard, isn't it? It's amazing. Ah, oh, now this is really good to see because the last time I was here, these fields were flooded, so hopefully they can get this potato crop out. Oh, that's great. Right, we just come to the cross here, and basically just where that lady's just walking, we're just going to walk down there now. So we're just at the football stroke cricket club, so we just take a right down here. A lovely pub, the ship. God, it'll be so good when all these things are back open again, eh? But yeah, we just come to the junction here and we're going to take a left. Right, we're going to be on this road for about 20 minutes. I just wanted something simple and solid to get us nearly home, but with a little surprise at the end as well. So we're just heading towards the A555. Very nice road when it's quiet. So as I say, we're just coming up now to the junction with the A555. Okay, so we're just over two and a half hours and about nine uh, K. So we're going straight over towards the Shell Garage. Just keep going past the garage, a couple more minutes. Can smell the joysticks from here when they were designing this. This is it's like Thunderbirds headquarters, isn't it? <laughs> so the garage is about two minutes up there. That's the big Trident business park. And you come to this. So there's a little garage over there. We're heading down here. So this is your little surprise. And I can't over explain that we are actually very close to uh, where we started. But this is the fun that I've had doing these walks with an old school map. Just finding these new places. So we're just heading over the railway bridge here, straight on. And look where we come out into again. It's fabulous. This last bit is a little narrow. It's not normally very busy, but yeah, just use your common sense. And where does it bring us? Back onto the path that we started. Wonderful. So about another five or six minutes. And I'm back, so that was 3 hours and 11 kilometres. I hope you've enjoyed coming out with me around Heel Green. As I say, I know these aren't good times, but I hope I've been able to show there's some fantastic places right on the doorstep around here.